Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we saw how to create an API from the node rate and using MySQL as a database. And we were using the React.js and Material UI framework to fetch the data from the API and show it in the UI table. So in this video, we are continuing the next part where I'll be showing you how to delete the data from the table and also it reflect to the MySQL. So here basically we create a API in the node rate that will be a delete API where using an ID I'll be deleting the data from the database. Okay, so let's get started. So we are in the node rate screen now. So as you can see, I have created one delete HTTP request where I'll pass the query. Query I'll be passing an ID. Based on that ID, we'll be going to delete the data from the table. Okay. I'll be showing now the React JS code. So how to integrate this? So let's move to the React screen now. So in the previous video, we saw that how to render the data in the table. Okay. Now I will be showing you how to delete the data. So let me start with the coding part. So as you can see, we have written one handle delete row functionality on delete of the button. So it should remove the data from the table. I'll be using this endpoint to call the API and pass the ID here and get the data deleted. So I'll be using the ID from the handle delete row to fetch the ID from the table and pass it here. I'll be using a try catch block. Okay, here in the fetch, I'll be passing that URL and the endpoint. As you can see, I'll be passing the endpoint here. So method will be post headers, whatever the header, necessary headers, I'll be passing over here. and the body data so basically i'll be passing an id here this id will be passed to the node red using that this so data will be deleted from the database as you saw we have written the query over there in the node red so that will be called so here i am handling the responses also if the response is okay i need to remove the data from the table that is nothing but a row so when this id get matched that data will be removed so else part we need to handle the error if any error in case any error occurs so we need to fetch and show the error i need to catch the error also here so i'll be writing that also let me finish up that now this functionality handling the handle delete row is done so here in, instead of index i'll be passing the id As you can see, once I click on delete, the delete has been happened and also data is being removed. Now one more thing is pending. I need to add an alert saying that data is deleted from the table. So let's add that also. So we have a material UI alert. So that we are using here. So as you know, material UI is a framework. So I'm basically using that to display the alert message. So once you click on the delete button, this get called. So I'll be using one use state here. So let me create one const show alert and set show alert. So 
so initially it will be a false okay i'll be setting that to false so once we get the response we have to get the set is as a true so on click of the button close it should get false that is nothing but it should be get closed so here i'm handling it if so alert is true the dialog box will show otherwise it will be removed as you can see now on click of delete it's getting short so that's it for the today's video now in the part 3 i'll be going to show you how to insert the data table using a node red it will get stored in the database if you find this video helpful kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching guys bye